Yo, what's happening, cool kids? It is I, the Cool Kid Collector, and I'm just chickity chin chilling in Pennywise Pub, casually causing some chaos and drinking a motherfucking Keystone. Just because I named my bar after the movie It does not mean that I'm not a genuine Friday the 13th fan. There are some other very genuine Friday the 13th fans in the fucking world, and they are contributing to the motherfucking cause, and they are bringing movies to people like me and you. Sean, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Sean Cunningham invented it, and he's fucking been going to court for several goddamn years uh, with Paramount, I think, and, like, the shit is in fucking limbo, and we can't get a, a quote-unquote real Jason Friday the 13th movie, so motherfuckers like Peter Anthony and Jason Brooks are bringing us the ruckus, motherfuckers, and they're doing a goddamn good job. Peter Anthony, for example, he was the big badass motherfucker in real life and in Vengeance. But he's also directing his own fucking take on the Friday the 13th franchise. And it's fucking insane to me because this cat, he's filling in all the gaps between fucking 7, part 7, New Blood, uh, Jason Goes to Hell, and Jason X. It's it's. I, I wish I could sit inside this dude's mind for half of a fucking minute. It's insane what, what this dude is doing. First of all, this trailer hit like three fucking days ago and it's already got five and a half thousand views. That is impressive as fuck, Joe. So, Roseblood, as far as I know, this motherfucker takes place like 13 months after part seven. Part seven is called the New Blood, right? So, I think this one takes place July 13th in 1989, because Part 7 took place in 1988. Um, Duke is in this motherfucker. Uh, Creighton Duke, I believe, he, he was the black man in, in Part 9, and Jason Goes to Hell. And he, there's a younger version of him in this movie, Roseblood, which is, is fucking insane to me, because not a lot of people pay attention to that character... And, and Peter's bringing them out, man. I, I think it's fucking dope. And it's a fucking genius idea. Tina, the girl with telekinesis in part seven is in this movie, in the Roseblood movie. And there's a girl named Rose. Wait. So, <laughs> it's like, it's like Rose is the new Tina. You know what I'm saying? In, the, in this movie, like, hence Roseblood. And uh, as as far as this trailer goes, like, we really can't tell... If she if she's good or bad, like we're just gonna have to wait and see this fucking movie. Um But this motherfucker it takes place in uh the fucking government lab from fucking Jason X. What the fuck was it called? Uh Camp Crystal Lake Research Facility. I th I think I think that's what it was called in Jason X, like they were a government-funded program, and their job was to, like, basically imprison Jason and, like, fucking analyze and interpret him and, and all that shit and try to fucking figure out who the fuck he was. And, and that was in Jason X. And this fucking movie takes place in that facility. And um, there's this, like, strike force, like the, these, these badass army special force motherfuckers that I'm pretty sure are not involved in the franchise at all, because it does not sound familiar. I'm pretty sure... I'm going to go ahead and fucking say it. Correct me if I'm wrong and throw stones at me, but I'm going to go out and say I'm 100% sure that this is Peter Anthony's invention. And it's fucking genius to me. And I'm like, I can't wait to see what he does with these characters. But they're called Fast. It's F-A-A-S-T. Watch the trailer again, and it shows these big bad motherfuckers with their little fucking badge, and it's, 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 it's fucking Ford Anomaly, Anom Anomaly Assault Strike Team, F-A-A-S-T, I think, and, uh, these motherfuckers are, they're, they're fucking, they're hunting down Jason, man, 
Jason obviously broke loose or something. I can't say the word obviously. That's a strong word because this is just a trailer. We don't know what the fuck is going on yet. Me as a fan, I have no fucking idea what is going to happen in this fucking movie. And that's what's driving me nuts. I can't wait for this fucking thing to come out. But they are going to show it, and I, I think in New Jersey, if not in New Jersey, that area in October. This coming up October, me and my wife are going to do the best we can to fucking fly out up to that bitch. And we're going to fucking check it out and have some drinks with Peter Anthony, man. That dude's a rad motherfucker. And I just want to thank him for continuing the fucking Friday the 13th franchise for us fans and filling in the goddamn gaps. There's so many fucking gaps. People are always like, I mean, first of all, you can't have logic with the Jason Voorhees movie. You know, uh, why did he come out of the lake in part one? And then in part two, he's a grown man. It's like religion. You just gotta have faith. You just gotta fucking believe it's true. Okay. Do you watch a fucking Transformers movie? I guarantee you're that type of motherfucker that watch a Transformers movie and you're like, oh, a 69 Charger couldn't take that fucking angle at that speed and not crash into the fucking mailbox. Bitch, you're watching a movie about aliens that turn into semi-trucks. You just gotta have some fucking faith. But Peter Anthony and Jason Brooks, man, they're fucking rad and they're holding the shit down and they're bringing it to us Friday the 13th fans. They're a breath of fresh air. They're a letter, a love letter to the fucking franchise. And I'm going to say it right now. Rest in peace, Steve Dash. You are the real Jason. But Jason Brooks is the new Jason. All right? Go watch motherfucking Rose Blood. I can't wait for that motherfucker. God damn it, I'm so fucking pumped for this shit. Woo! So there's my review for uh, Friday the 13th, Roseblood, man. I can't wait to see this motherfucker and put it in my goddamn veins. For reals. Check it out. Two things I gotta add for sure. That the, the trailer that I'm showing in my review video is not the official trailer. I bootlegged the fuck out of it. I sat my fucking phone down. And I set it down in front of a laptop and I watched it. I hooked it up to a dope-ass Bluetooth speaker. So don't fucking think that the quality is janky like my YouTube channel, alright? The official trailer is dope as shit. And I'm gonna leave a fucking link to the official trailer in the description. And there's another thing that I forgot to mention. What the fuck is up with the red eyes, dog? I don't know how to pronounce this young lady's name. It's like Sine Lutsis or something. But she's a brilliant actress. She was in Friday the 13th Vengeance. And I'm pretty sure she's going to gain her role again in uh, Vengeance Part 2 Bloodlines. She's very talented. She's got a red fucking eye though. And there's another girl on the trailer. I can't. I can't. I'm thinking is, is Rose the brunette? Is Tina the blonde? Let me know. But there was two characters in this fucking trailer that had red eyes. And that's got to be significant for something. So I can't wait to uh, learn more about that after watching this movie. But for real, don't let my janky ass YouTube channel stir you away from uh, the, the greatness that is Friday the 13th Rose Blood. Alright?